saw a smaller book haul for this week, but some really good um, bits and pieces. So we'll take a look at what we've got here. This one is US Army Technical Manual issued by the War Department in Washington, 1943, Standard Military Motor Vehicles. Um, basically, it's a record of all American vehicles that they had in 1943. Quite a nice book. I believe you can buy a reprint for between 12 and 20 quid. A really handy publication. This one cost me, I think it was five pound. Yeah, five pounds, that's quite nice. This one is a Canadian uh, book. It's Vehicle Data Book, Canadian Army Overseas, Armoured Tracked Vehicles, Armoured Wheeled Vehicles, Tractors, Transports, B Vehicles and Trailers. Um, it was produced, Canadian Army Overseas is basically the Canadian Armed Forces in England at the time. Um, it was produced in March 1944, prior to D-Day, and it showed the type of vehicles that the Canadian Army had at their disposal in England. Um, a lot of them are Canadian military pattern cabbed vehicles, but a lot of them are British, and there's quite a fair smattering of American vehicles in here as well. And again, it's a handy really handy publication we've got all the cmp pattern with some have unusual bodies on them some are british vehicles with unusual bodies like the bedford ql with the mobile operations room on it there's also quite a lot of diamond t related items um military motorcycles there's a good bit on lubricants used on b type b vehicles a vehicles Standard vehicle tools, military pattern tyres, vehicle codes and code plates, there's war department numbers and how they're placed, there's a really handy bit on vehicle marking signs, there's trailers, so again another really nice publication. As you can see there's lots and lots of diamond T with unusual bodies. So there's pontoon, machinery, machinery, machinery again, lorry, bridge equipment, crane, and there's one there with an unusual crane from the uh, normally mounted on the back of the RAF. Recovery Thornycroft got a Coles crane on the back of it. Quite an unusual modification. So that's a, a kind of photo record compiled by the Canadian military in London of all the Canadian related military vehicles available in March 1944. So that cost me, I think it was £2.50, something like that. All the publication. American Half Tracks of World War II by Chris Ellis and Peter Chamberlain. This is one of those Bologna prints that came out in the 1970s. And it's a series of uh, magazines originally consisting of uh, 148 or uh, 176 L plans available to models in the 70s. But this one's like a compilation. It's got all the variations. It goes up to the Arab-Israeli Six-Day War. So there's World War II items plus some post-war modifications in there. Quite a lot of exploded diagrams. And again, that was £2.50. This one cost me £3.99, the Vintage Lorry Album. Um, this is Vintage Lorry Album number 3. Came out in about 1984. There's uh, quite a nice article in here about the GMC CCKW if I can find it 
There we are. The GMC CCKW, that's a post-war one, which was modified in the 50s for the Austrian Fire Brigade. And also, for 1984, there's some items seen and heard around the classic truck scene in England in the, in the 1980s. There's a bit about here. An ex-war department Bedford Road Sweeper of 1942 is being offered for around £240 by D.U. Abbott of Dewey Lane, Brackenfield, Derbyshire. And somebody has for sale. Possibly still available for around three and a half grand is a 1946 American F4 Ford lorry. And then we have seen in a lay-by in Oxfordshire with these two apparently ex-German army lorries. Perhaps bound for a filming role. To the rear is a 4x4 Bogwood. But unless Opel used identical pressings in their GM cousins at Luton, we would say that the Opel Blitz is in fact a Bedford with revised frontal treatment. That's a Bedford O-series truck that's been modified to look like an Opel Blitz. There's quite a lot of stuff about for sale in England in 1984. And there's all sorts of odd little bits and pieces, transport in Warrington, various German vehicle companies. So not a bad little book. This is quite a class publication. This was about £30 when it came out. Hitler's armies. A History of the German War Machine, 1935 by Chris McNabb. This cost me £2.99. And it came out in... In, 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 in... In... Where is the date? 2011 it came out. Now, it's published by Osprey Publishing. And this will become evident in the illustrations really lots of pages but it has lots of osprey illustrations in it and it is fantastic loads of good osprey related pictures which have been taken from other publications and incorporated into the book Quite a lot of good publications have come this way for the past day or so. So that's the sum total of the find in the past couple of days. Not many, but quite a lot of good bits.